Hey, how you doing? Anthony Farrell here of Create Sci-Fi. Today, I want to talk to you about concept art. Now, in DIY sci-fi, concept art is very important. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to assume you have a really great idea and you have not enough money to make it. <laughs> so, concept art is always a good idea. It helps everybody involved. But why I found it's key in sci-fi is that oftentimes I'll be meeting with uh, potential investors or people that I want to get involved working on the project and you'll have a meeting and you'll start talking about um, the custodian of the galaxy, right? Galactic galaxy. So the custodian of the galaxy, he's a space wizard. So I start saying these things and people will, if they're down with the genre, they'll imagine things or they'll be lost. But you know, with the concept art, you know, I show them this and they're like, oh, oh, okay, I, I, I know what you're talking about. Right, and same thing with spaceships, and it just helps people to, to be drawn into your story. And people just really react well uh, to the images. It's just something that happens. Um, now, um, you know, I talk about Galactic Galaxy, uh, the sci-fi web series that I've been making. Um, so I'm going to be launching that uh, next week. So I'm going to use that as an example for talking about concept art. All right, so um, the first thing that comes to mind is that initially with Galactic Galaxy, I had this idea about snail warriors, right? I, I, I had this idea of like, you know, like the Dark Crystal or Farscape, these really like um, Jim Henson-esque um, creatures, like full body suits. So with the concept artists, we drew the skull warriors and you know, this is exactly what I imagined because we did the art and I was very excited about these. And when I would show it to people, they would say, oh, all right, I see what you're saying. And then also the other use of the concept art is, now I have this, I can start shopping it around to people who actually fabricate this stuff. So I take this image and I bring it to fabricators and I find out very quickly that it's going to cost me thousands of dollars to make this suit. I don't even have thousands of dollars to make the show. So I go back to the drawing board, literally in this case, and I work with my uh, concept artist and I start coming up with a more humanoid type snail warrior. And again, I was very happy with this design. When I talked to people, it really sparked the imagination. It, it was exciting. I found out that I still was not gonna be able to afford this as well. I had the budget that I had and then I created these Skull Warriors. Now this was the third um, idea in a process. And these Skull Warriors, I was able to create on a budget. And with these, I started the costume, I made the costume inexpensively, and I was able to start filming my proof of concept. So although it wasn't my original idea, by constantly working on this, progress was being made. Because the thing with sci-fi, like I said, it's hard to explain to people. They, they really need to see it. And it became clear to me early on that I was going to need the concept art. So I teamed up with a great local artist in LA, Farron Loathing. And he started to bring my imagination to life. Hi, I'm Farron. I'm the illustrator that Anthony contacted to uh, create the conceptual art and storyboards for Galactic Galaxy. I was very excited to work on sci-fi, which I haven't done in a while, and drawing spaceships and, and, and laser bow warriors that are werewolves. I think it's an awesome idea. It was a wonderful experience, and uh, I, I want this thing to become a huge, huge successful series because it means that I get to draw more insane stuff for Anthony. Now, the queen originally, in my mind, was Cher from the 1986 Oscars. And Farron drew these amazing costumes based on that idea. Now, in the end, it went in another direction, but the art was key to set things in motion. And in fact, it helped me to convince the actress to play the part. I can honestly say that creating the concept art is one of the most enjoyable parts of the process for me. You know, you're, you're imagining it when you write it, but when you finally start to see these things come to life, not only does it help you to get people on board, like I said, but it actually inspires you to want to see this thing through. 
Now, as I said, this is part of Galactic Galaxy, which, um, because that's such a big project and I've worked so long on it, it does have its own YouTube page. So I'm gonna have a link for you here. You know, of course, if you like what I do and you enjoy this work, please go and subscribe to that. Um, we're gonna be launching next week, uh, season one, episode one, very exciting. So if you're seeing this in the future, still the link will be here and go check out the series. Well, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to Galactic Galaxy as well. Leave a comment. I love to read the comments. And be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>